Now, Andrew Tate has had a bid to leave Romania and travel back to the UK to visit his ill mother. Rejected, the 37-year-old, who's been banned from leaving the country while he faces rape and human trafficking charges, had requested to visit London to see her after she suffered a heart attack. But in a social media post, he said the Romanian state decided she must be alone at Christmas if she is alive. Well, joining me now is Talk TV reporter Lou Newton. Um, Lou... Andrew Tate is a name a lot of people know, but actually, I just wonder if you could help us out. Just remind us who he is. Well, he's an influencer. He was a four-time um, boxing world champion. Um, and he, you know, he's a controversial figure, to say the least. A lot of his tweets have been branded misogynistic. Um, he's been branded as someone who riles up um, men who mainly are maybe part of the incel movement, which is... Um, He's not seen as a healthy figure. Um, and now he's faced all of this trouble in Romania um, and he's unable to leave the country. And as you say, the Romanian Court of Appeal, they've rejected his request to come back to the UK. Um, he wanted to do it over the Christmas period. In a statement they've issued, they acknowledged his mother's had a heart attack, um, but they just said the request was unfounded. Um, and he is awaiting trial um, on rape and human trafficking. Uh, where is he in that legal process? So he and his brother, Tristan, um, they both made the request to come back to London that was rejected. But both of them are facing quite serious charges, along with two other people. Um, and those charges are essentially that they enticed women, seven women, over to Romania with the promise of a romantic relationship and... It, that just wasn't, you know, it's alleged that that wasn't the case and that these women were then forced into sexual activities, pornographic acts that were then filmed, so under duress. Um, they're the allegations, all four deny those. Um, right now, the case sits with a preliminary chamber. That's just something that happens in Romanian court. It looks at all the files, it ensures the legality of it. We don't know how long that takes, but it's only once that has taken place that it can then go to a full trial, so we're just waiting on that. And, Lou, would you say quite often a lot of these controversial figures who have a big fan base, who have a very big social media footprint and following, sometimes it seems to me that the more horrendous things they're accused of, the more they're, they're, they're held up and, and you know, face trial, sometimes that fan base is even more convinced that their hero is innocent and it, that it's some sort of kangaroo court. Is that sort of thing going on with Andrew Tate, do you think? It kind of feels that way. He's grown more popular since... He's been getting a lot of negative attention um, despite these allegations, you know, with all the tweets he sends out and the kind of content he puts out there, which, um, you know, like I say, misogynistic, some of it threatening. He's become more popular since these allegations, which are, you know, they are just allegations that they deny, but they are serious allegations. And his fan base is growing. Um, you know, he's still able to tweet. He he was under house arrest... Well, he was in custody and then under house arrest um, until August. So he, he's able to tweet, he's able to access his following and this whole time um, can put out, within Romanian law, he can put out whatever he wants within the law. Um, yeah. So he is able, in some ways, to put his side forward, yeah. and, in some ways. And as far as I'm aware, still making an awful lot of money with these weird sort of Ponzi pyramid schemes of getting people to pay him a lot of money in order for him to turn them into an entrepreneur, which is another side of his, um, of, of his career, in yeah. inverted commas. Uh, Lou, thank you very much. We will That's certainly keep an eye on the Andrew Tate story.